my friends. So glad you could join me. My name is Wonka. Today we're going to be playing Forza Horizon 4. And I'm feeling pretty fortunate today because we got ourselves an expansion called Fortune Island. And we are going to be checking it out. I believe there's some weather. There's some new vehicles such as the one that you are seeing right here. Some weird things that I've never seen before. We're going to get through a little bit of it today. Do a little exploring. See what Fortune Island has to offer. And if you guys enjoy, you'll want to see more, do me a favor, tickle that like button, leave me a comment down below. As always, if you're new here, or you haven't already, be sure to punch your golden ticket by hitting that subscribe button. And without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy. And I think you will. Oh, isn't it a thing of beauty? I can't even remember what this thing is called. I've honestly never seen one of these things before. I don't know much about, like, off-roady type vehicles such as this one, but it's pretty, <laughs> it's pretty damn impressive. I have not driven it yet just bought it they always have these little skinny doors that's an off-road thing i feel like i don't know maybe not but there's a couple of these off-road type things that we'll check out today for sure there's a bunch of vehicles well, not a bunch but there's a few that have been added to the game is this thing on air that's air suspension is it not i'm pretty damn sure it is all right well let's uh let's experiment and see how this thing feels oh nice little off-road light grill thing but no nah, i don't want that i want to keep that slick body line in the front and we could add a spoiler which honestly actually does look pretty good and it actually gives us better handling so you know what i'll add the spoiler i hardly ever add the spoilers in this game so let's do it it looks pretty good it is currently a rear wheel drive car what is this thing a funko motorsports f9 2018 i have no idea i've never seen this thing before can't even do engine upgrades or anything. Let's just try it as is. I mean, we'll put the wing on it. But other than that, we'll just try it as is with a wing. There was a pretty cool paint job that I saw for it um, as I was kind of just looking around. But I decided to leave it stock just to show you guys what it looks like before I do something to it. There it is. This vehicle is long. Like, I don't think I've ever seen a vehicle get cut off at the tire there. They could have also maybe moved it a bit to, to the left. I don't know... I don't know what they were thinking on that, but um, I like this one. I love the teeth on that. The teeth look freaking amazing. Most of the time they look more like this, which doesn't look terrible. Or this, which also doesn't look terrible teeth-wise. Like, it looks all right. But, like, those teeth? Damn, dude. You got some skill. So I'm going with this one. I can't, I'm, I'm drawn to that green one, but I have no idea what that green one is. If you know what it is, let me know. Because now I'm curious. But I just, I picked this one first, first come, first serve, and I love the guy, the teeth on this thing. Like, the guy who did these teeth, damn, son. So let's give it a drive. Oh, no, wait, no, no. I figured out a new way to leave our homes. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? All right, here we go. We're going for a drive. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, please. That's how I want to leave my house more often. Might take a little extra time, but um, that's how I want to do that. So does, does stuff spin in the back? No. The engine is, is, is running, but nothing's spinning back there. So that's okay. That'd probably be pretty hard to do. It sounds incredible. It's got a turbo. You can hear that thing. It's got a big turbo, that means. And um, we are going to be heading to this live event. No, I'm just kidding. How, how long do I even have to get there? 5 minutes, 39 seconds. You think I could do it? You think I could do it? We're going to try. We probably won't do the event, but we're going to see if I can get there in 5 minutes and 39 seconds. 14 kilometers in 5 minutes and 39 seconds. This thing just shreds through gears. All right, we got the destination in sight. We're on rear wheel drive, so this is going to be a little bit squirrely the whole way there. But we got speed, so maybe that'll make up for it. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Yes, I know okay, I'm going Robert. there. Stop beeping at me. God damn it. I don't think I'm going to make it. I need an all-wheel drive. Real bad. All right, we just got to cut through. We just got to weave. Bob and weave. Dip, dodge, dive, duck. Dip, dodge, and dive, and do Oh, God. Ah! This forest is so thick, I keep running. <clears throat> oh my god, it won't go around the fucking tree! I swear I'm not this bad at driving. There was something wrong with the hill. 
and the rear wheel drive and like anybody else got any more excuses for me hello i don't know why i didn't convert this thing to all-wheel drive maybe because i'm like stupid or something or maybe because i'm just obsessed with rear-wheel drive but um it was a bad idea is what i'm trying to get at because this thing just cannot put the power down especially off-road no i was so close why me the thing that sucks is if you're late you have to basically do it by yourself or with anybody who shows up late with you potentially um, and it's really, like, it's impossible at that point, so you might as well just not even show up. I don't know what the people behind this game were thinking sometimes, but, um, I can't even drive fucking through trees, so... What do you, what do you mean? Not, like, through trees, but you know what I mean, like, through a forest, that's what I meant to say. I can't even drive through a forest, so what do I know? Uh-oh. Thought that might have been breakable, got closer and realized there's no fucking way in hell. Three, two... And one, I missed it. And there was a bunch of people there too, which frustrates me. Frustrates me a lot because this car was just being an asshole. This thing is absolutely terrible off-road. So if I was calling it an off-road car before, I'm, I'm an idiot. It's definitely not. I don't get what this thing is for. Like it's terrible off-road because it's rear-wheel drive, or at least in this game, it's terrible off-road. And um, like it does not have enough gears to save its life. So I don't know. What? Like, what is this thing meant for? Garbage? I mean, I'll throw it out if you want. For so you didn't have, you have to, you know, be so subtle about it. Just ask me. I would have thrown it out for you. And the air ride makes it do some wacky stuff. Did it wheelie there? This is um really really fun way to drive. I got to be honest. Um, what the hell is this car? It's trash. It's legit trash. It might be the worst freaking car. No, not the worst, but it's up there. It's definitely top 10. I'll give you that for sure. Even off-road, you're just maxed out before you know it. What is the point of this? What is this thing meant to do? Does it wheelie? Maybe it wheelies. I don't think it wheelies. Wheelie. It handles like bumps pretty well. Maybe that's all it's meant to do. Maybe it's just supposed to go off-road, but not very fast. Not the best time of the uh, day or night in this case to be checking out a brand new place, but um, it is not unfortunately part of the map. Everybody was kind of hoping that they would finally do that. This thing is weird. It doesn't really do a wheelie like the the wheel like comes in. I don't know. This vehicle is very very weird. Um, but here it is. This is where we wait for the ferry, along with these fairies. <laughs> Oh, got him. Um, right here. Where's the fucking ferry? Hey, good to see you. You ready to scout out the new festival site with us? Joel sorted out the transport. Things could get a little choppy on the way. Oh, no. No, no. What's he done this time? Boat? Plane? Helicopter? Well, sort of all of the above, really. Hovercraft. Nice. nice. Let's get going. Can we get our cars on there? Or are we just gonna ride over and there's cars waiting there? How, how does the logistics work on that? Huh, Forza? The sun in my hair. The breeze on my face. Wait, is that how it goes? Pilot says this is the best drop off point. The rest is all sheer cliffs. Damn. Oh, what are we greeted with? Oh, I have one of those. Storm's coming. Let's push on a north place. One of those rams? I got I got one of them. I got one of those things in the front, too. It looks like an aerial atom, but like off-road, and it's not made by aerial. It's great. Oh, I'm in my ram. Okay. We're facing off against the hovercraft, or what? Looks like some sort of cave formation. Well, what do you reckon, Beck? Should we put the festival in here? Do you know how the tide works, Alex? Come on, let's keep going. Look at that mountain. First chance I get, I'm going up there. Oh, can I fit? What okay, do you reckon, Jay? Jay? Where's Jay? I haven't gotten a chance to look at any mountains. I'm too focused on the race. You guys look around, though. Tell me if there's any cool stuff you see. Holy Jesus! Sorry, you two were a bit slow, so I did some scouting of my own. What do you mean, slow, bro? I'm in seventh gear. I didn't even know the... Jesus! Whoa. Ooh, 
That gives me chills. I like that thunder. I like that lightning. It's nice. Um, so these are a few new vehicles. We got the Ram here. This is brand new. Um, we got this thing that's trying to catch up on my left here and going to pass me because he's probably light as air. That's cheating. That's cheating right there. That guy's a cheater. What is that? Oh, that's a freaking truck. Oh my god, why did I lose so much speed there? Was it, Did I run into something? This thing's sluggish. My ram is definitely faster. This isn't my ram. I upgraded mine a little bit because I was going to do some racing in it. Oh my god, that tree is coming down. Can this actually happen? Can this actually happen in free roam or is this just like a race event thing only? This is insane. I knew weather was part of it, but I didn't know it was going to be like, you know, the weather that nightmares are made of. Yeah. We're explorers. I'm like Dora. All right. I like this place. I mean, it's kind of very similar. It's not super different. It's more foresty and islandy so far. The weather is a huge plus. I also hear there's a drift mountain, so I think that mountain. That guy's cheap. I have a feeling we're all gonna die. Oh, the northern lights are looking banging. What the hell? Where did the Lambo come from? The locals must be like, oh, what have we gotten ourselves into when they hear these engines rolling in? I don't know why I said engines so weird. It kind of didn't roll off the tongue properly for me. Whoa. This island is hey, very different. Welcome to Fortune Island. This is the Island Conqueror. A brand new tournament we've set up to find the fastest, bravest driver here on the island. Me! Make your way through the qualifying rounds and race for the chance to be crowned the Island Conqueror. Now, somewhere on Fortune Island, the Horizon Festival has hidden a chest containing one million unmarked, non-consecutive credits. To trace its location, first you'll need to solve this riddle. Listen closely. The massive truck stomps around like a T-Rex. Roar through the speed zone at Festival's Apex. Is this Festival's Apex too? Wow, that's... Alright. I probably need maybe a faster car though. So we're going to do a quick little car swap. Um, and I'll show you guys the other new vehicle. Which is right here. The Exomotive Exocet? Exocet? Ex I don't know. It's off-road, all right? It looks like an off-road aerial atom is what it honestly reminds me of. Look at it. It's so little. We we raced this, so we kind of we kind of got spoilers. I got it all black. You can choose whatever color you want, but you can only paint the roll cage, I believe, at least from the shop or at least from the dealership. So anyway, this is it. It's pretty damn quick and off-road. It handles like a dream. The thing sticks to dirt like like a drag tire sticks to road. I don't really have a another analogy for it. Um, I should have been doing this a lot more seriously. I did it. New personal best. Nailed it. What, do I have to beat it or roar through this? Something about a treasure map or treasure thing or something? treasure chest am i looking for a treasure chest all right well let's uh let's see if we can get a little bit more runway leading up to it this time i don't know if i'm supposed to be looking for a treasure chest or if that's just like where, where do i even find these treasure chest things again the massive truck stomps around like a t-rex roar through the speed zone at fest oh oh you got to use a proper vehicle t-rex we, we want a raptor probably t-rex T-R-X almost sounds like the Ram Rebel T-R-X, doesn't it? Oh. Ah, anyway, happy hunting. Oh, I was supposed to stay in the vehicle that I was already in. <laughs> uh, you know, sometimes, sometimes I'm not very smart. I thought we were supposed to use a Raptor. Personally, I didn't realize that this thing was called the T-R-X. So, you know, in my defense... Well, I have two now. They gave me another one. I got this one for free anyway, so I might as well. I guess sell that one or something. 
I wonder if you could sell this on the auction house to people who don't have the expansion. Probably not. Why is this so zoomed in compared to th th this? Th 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 this. I don't know, but we're going to get in my car. Because my car roars way better than that stock piece of shit. Of course, they turned me the wrong way, though. This thing is nice, though. I like this thing. I'm not a huge Ram guy. Or a huge Dodge guy in general. Like, Vipers are nice, but that's about it. No, they have more than that. But this thing's not bad, and it's pretty quick once you get it going. And once you get a little bit of upgrades, no! Or if you run into the wall, then that doesn't help. The riddle. Nice work. Very nice. Transmitting approximate coordinates and photographic reference. Match them up for the exact location. So well, that's we couldn't the make it too easy for you, could we? So that's the treasure chest. It's beside a boat. So we're going to have to go and find that, which is somewhere in here. Obviously, probably going to be near the water over here. So um, I think we got to get out of first person view so we can get a little bit more of a, a look around here. All right. So it starts here. We're looking for a white boat on land, not in the water. But I'm still assuming it's going to be beside the water. I think that's it like right there. Yeah. Look at that. Now this first one's obviously probably going to be easy. I would assume it gets a little bit harder as you go on. What do I do? Destroy it or... How do I... Am I supposed to destroy it? Oh, there we go. Horizon. One million. Our first Fortune Island millionaire. Oh, shit. Sorry about your boat. Different? Well, before you retire to a Caribbean island, let me just say we'll be releasing one treasure chest in each round of the Island Conqueror. If you know... You wanted to stick around. I'm trying to help this guy out. I didn't I didn't want to push his boat off, but if I did, I might as well put it in the water for him. Oh, don't put the trailer in the water, just the boat. And perf. Oh, wait. No. It rolled. I think it's on a rock. Oh, it's on a dock. Well, I didn't notice the dock there. I tried to be a good Samaritan, but I, I kind of made it worse. Is that an animal that just ran through the freaking thing there? I don't even know. So we don't have access to more of those treasure chests yet, but that's fine. We'll do we'll do we'll do a treasure hunting episode or something in the future if you guys want to see it. Right now, I just kind of want to explore the island a little bit more, see what else we got to play with, to do. Let's check the map. I mean, if I'm looking at anything for drifting, it's probably this needle climb right here. So maybe we'll get ourselves into a drift type vehicle. Well, I was gifted the Gymkhana Ford Fiesta RT or whatever. Gymkhana 8 Ford Fiesta ST RX. That's where it was. That's what I mixed up. Sorry. ST. Should have been smarter about that. I got offered to like get a cheap one of these. Get like a discount from a little a hookup of someone who works at Ford. Not obviously one of these, but a Fiesta ST. But I don't know if I want a Fiesta ST, to be honest. It's like, I know they're kind of cool, they're alright, they're not terrible, but I don't know if I want that. So let's see uh, what this girl can do. Yikes, I went in a little hard. Alright, so she's, uh, she's nimble, she's quick. And we're gonna take her up this mountain here and see if we can get some sweet drifts. Look at that. Look at that thing. Let's go to the top of that, that's what I want to do. Hello friends, I'm here for the drift zone. Oh, fail. I'm a failure. Need to not go so fast into these corners. Here we go. That's what we're working with. That's a Jim Connor car right there. That's a Ken Block drift car if I ever seen one. Easy, girl. Easy. And I mean, I got it for free. This seems like a big drift zone, too. Oh, it's still going. It's the whole damn mountain. Now, we are going up mountain, so that's going to be a little bit more challenging for the car than down mountain. But um, it seems to be doing relatively okay, especially considering my terrible drift skills. Okay, not terrible, but, you know, not great either. Not good, not okay. Eh, maybe okay. We'll go with okay, just to make me feel better about it, you know? Also, all-wheel drive's not 
not the easiest thing to drift for me. Some people find it very easy. I find it a little too grippy. And I, I'm not racing with clutch right now, so I can't do like little clutch kicks and stuff like that. Ooh, getting a little slippy around that corner. I like it. I heard about this thing, and um, I heard good things about it, and I'm glad it's living up to its name. It's a huge drift zone. 220-something thousand points, which was only good enough. Oh, it was actually good enough for all three stars. I thought it wasn't going to be. I need to have more faith in myself. So let's take it for a little bit of off-road drifting, see if we can find our way up this mountain a bit more. I really like that drift zone, wow. And that's just the first thing I came to check out. Like, there's gotta be more good stuff here. I really hope there's a better drag strip here. That is one thing this game desperately needs, is better drag racing. It's not terrible, but I don't know. I think they could do better. I really do. I don't know where this is leading me, but I also hope I really don't fall off into the ocean. Please, no. Jesus. Why do I have to open my big mouth sometimes, you know what I mean? Just fucking need to keep her shut there, boys. Man, this is nice, though. I could see myself getting lost just driving around this stuff for, jeez, who knows how long. Oh, no! I missed the sign! And we're dead. We're dead. <laughs> I took it a little wide to get the sign, and it just was not a good idea. Look, a rainbow. But I want to go to the top of this mountain, so let's just see. We, maybe we should get a better... Does does this lead to the top of the mountain? I don't think so. I don't think there's a path up the mountain. But let's, uh, just to end it off, we'll go for a little mountain climb. It's got snow camo. It's a Nissan. It's meant to do this climb. We got the Nissan... Nissan? Nissan? Titan? However you want to say it, the Nissan Titan Warrior Concept Forza Edition. And uh, let's see if it can climb mountains. I'm full, I'm full on right now, by the way, boys. That's pedal down. This is Nissan rock climbing power right here. Come on, girl, you can do it. This is, you're letting, you're letting your company down. You're really letting your comp, oh, are you really gonna reset me if I try and climb the mountain, Forza? What do you mean? All right, this game's trash. It's official. It's official. This mountain sucks. This game sucks. I can't even climb the mountain without just getting a fade to black screen. That's that's ridiculous. Why would you put this mountain here if I can't even attempt to go up it? Like, sure, make it impossible to go up it. I don't care. Make me fall and roll like this a hundred times. But don't you dare. Ever. Hey. Make sure you hit that like button. Because if you guys hit the like button for me, Lots of good things happen, okay? And we can grow and do giveaways and, like, subscribe and all that good stuff, okay? Take it easy. <laughs> meow, meow.